Insecure? Me? Me insecure? No. Insecure? Me? Me insecure? No. 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 Do you know how bad it was? It made me doubt everything about myself, my instincts, my relationships. I didn't even believe in myself. And I, I trusted no one, no one, not even my wife. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, shoulda seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right. I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone. I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron the Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, familia, my raza, you already know what time it is. Sure to have some food about it, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron the Strong. JC here. Insecurity, man. You know, I never thought that I was gonna <laughs> like have the guts to talk about this, but I have to because I know there has to be like more guys out there, and I mean, even probably girls that are just they're just like like me, like so so damaged that it just insecurity can be painful and difficult. It took it took a toll on my mental health throughout the years and as well in my relationships. My longest relationship was three months. Uh, people would run for their lives. It's embarrassing because you know that you're insecure, right? But you try to hide it from everybody with rage and anger. And then there's times that you get caught here and there, you know, people see it and you feel so embarrassed, but it, it's crazy how you, how you feel. It was like being in a nightmare 24 seven. I would see things, hear things, I would imagine things, always checking up on my wife, like I would run up the stairs and poof, bust through the door and I would be like, what are you doing? Ugh, man, not trusting her, how can she be like faithful to me, uh, just feeling jealous, I would wait for someone to look at her so I could like bite their faces off and she's lying, she's lying. Feeling like she was going to break up with me at any moment, I, I, would, I would always like, you know, fish for compliments or, or validation, you know, trying to feel more secure. And I, I would be like, you, you love me, right? And, and I'm sexy, right? And these are all behaviors that are not of God. Not, and not a, and of course, not a man of God. Like me, I was so preoccupied with what my partner was doing that I wasn't focusing on God. And you can't manage your partner. She's not an object. That's, she has to answer to the same person. It's just not your job, you know? If something needs to be removed from, from your life, God will see to it. You just have to trust him. Not trusting your partner can cause you to engage in unhealthy behavior. <laughs> they could cost you your relationship. If you want that that like love story, 
the way that God loves you, then you need to learn to say, I love you rather than I love me. I love you through all the normal days and all the not so normal days. Scripture says that when we love our wives, you are loving yourself. According to God, we, we are one now. The enemy likes to convince you and create two out of one, but God makes one out of two. To, today, I truly cherish my wife and I take great pleasure in loving her the way that Jesus loves his church. The big part was me getting right with God first so he could teach me how to love my wife. It's called having your home in order. Christian men are instructed to love their wives as Jesus has loved his church. And to do that, I mean, you have to dive into scripture. You have to really just get in there and study. I mean, to me, every day it's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> I, I read a Psalms and a Proverbs and I'm always looking to, to find something. And like I've told you guys before, it doesn't mean that my life is perfect. I, I'm at peace with him. When you have that peace and your joy in your heart, it's because you're not fighting with, 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 you know, with God. You're, you're at peace with him because you're not living a life of sin. So you guys are good. There's, there's a peace treaty, you know? You're not, you're not away from him because you know, of your sin. So all I can say is, man, I am truly, truly blessed. God blessed me with a wife I can't even explain it sometimes. And he's showed me how to have a relationship with her, how to love her, how to trust her, and just, she's my partner, my partner in crime. I love her. Thank you. My name's JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him. He'll make sure you're good.